But his intense hunting and touring schedule left little time for his domestic life. At home, a distance was growing between Ted and his wife Sandra. Maybe I was uh, on the road too much. Maybe she felt that I wasn't around enough when she was pregnant and had the kids. So for whatever reason, she gave up on the marriage. Adding to their problems, Ted says Sandra was struggling with an addiction to drugs and alcohol. While he was fighting a losing battle with his own addiction, his weakness for young women. I was monogamous around the clock. Kind of. Young girls were infatuated with Ted, and when his willpower was put to the test, he failed miserably. Oh, they were just everywhere you had to get a crowbar, just pummel of it. Knock them off the doorknob. They were hanging on your lingai. Um, yes, it, I, it could have been whiskey, it could have been drugs, but no, I was a wang-dang addict. I mean, I was addicted to girls. Addicted. It was hopeless. It was beautiful. The day after California Jam, Derek quit and the bass player Rob Grange followed close behind. The group that had helped make Ted Nugent a star was gone. People wonder why it went away in 79. It's because we weren't there. And without, without the same four cards, you can't, don't have the same hand anymore and you can't play the game the same. The bottom line was that Nugent's biggest selling records, I think, were with Derek and his whole career. But in true Nugent fashion, Ted forged ahead. Within a month, he'd hired singer Charlie Hune to replace Derek and went right back on the road. He also got right back into romance. Soon after his divorce, Ted found a new love, a young girl from Hawaii named Pele Masa. She was like a dream, a fantasy, exotic dream of mine to meet her. Ted was 30 years old, Pele just 17. I was underage, and even back in the wild 70s, it just really wasn't a terribly appropriate situation in most people's eyes and now it would be criminal. Ted admits to a number of liaisons with underage girls and while it may have raised eyebrows it never raised the interest of local authorities. Ted charmed the girls parents right along with his teenage lovers and in the case of Pele her mother signed papers making Ted her legal guardian. I got the stamp of approval of their their parents because they figured better Ted Nugent than some drug-infested punk in high school. Pele says she discovered a tender side to tough guy Ted that his fans couldn't have, wouldn't have, ever imagined. Romantic, sweet, soft. He held all the qualities that you would want in your man um, when you think of romance. He wrote the kind of love songs for her only Ted Nugent could invent, with titles like Wango Tango and Little Miss Dane. listen to any of them you'll realize that they could be about anybody <laughs> but it's mostly about sex for many songs about sex women and more sex were beginning to wear thin critics saw Ted's Tarzan routine as a cartoon to them Ted the caveman was beginning to look like a cultural Neanderthal I guess I just got to realize I just never get to eat all that see out there Instead of listening to his guitar, they heard his mouth. And they didn't like a lot of the times his kind of arrogant, macho attitudes. If, if he's talking so loud about all this stuff, how could they hear his guitar? How could they hear his music? I'm a mouth. You know, I, I just say what comes spewing forth. If you don't have a sense of humor, you'll hurt yourself getting angry at me.